Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the tech news for Thursday, October 15th, 2015. Today in the news, we have a little report that came out yesterday and um, it was saying that we had this year 38% more cyber attacks from last year. So, you know, this is something that's getting more and more intense and we need to protect ourselves more and more. Cyber attacks are on the rise and the reason they're on the rise is because these bad guys make a lot of money by doing this. So, you know what, don't wait for that company to, um, you know, make the security for you. Create your own security. That's how you'll get by with, uh, you know, these cyber attacks. So, you know, everywhere that you don't have to uh, register a credit card and keep it on file, don't. Just buy, and once it's over, make sure that you remove the credit card information. Um, it's, you know, it could be a little asshole on some websites, but you know what? That will protect you. With no credit card information, they can't steal anything from you. Um, you know what? two-factor authentication everywhere to make sure they can't hack into your account. If you have two-factor authentication on PayPal, for example, PayPal gets hacked, they know your password, well, they still can't get in because that second authentication that sends an SMS or that uses the uh, Google Authenticator, well, they don't have that information. They can't complete that information. So, you know, you need to make your security because more and more companies are going to get hacked. That's very important to keep yourself safe. Don't think they will keep you safe. Companies are notorious at being bad with security and because of two things, basically, uh, some uh, workers at these companies are just dumb and still use bad passwords and some of them have bad security guys that just don't know what they're doing so make your own security as you see here 38 percent i'm surprised it's not more and i can bet you next year is going to be 40 or 50 percent from today and so on it's getting worse and that's why you need to take the control of your security in other news if you have installed the new um Insider preview on your Mo Windows 10 mobile phone, uh, 10549, and your battery drains. It seems that the culprit is probably Cortana using higher than normal um, usage of your phone, basically. So uh, turning off Cortana will fix the issue. Make sure that uh, you turn it off if you have that issue. It doesn't seem to affect everybody, but it seems to affect a lot of people. So uh, you know what? If your battery is battery is draining on your phone real fast uh, disable Cortana she's probably the culprit on the uh, new insider preview that uh, was released in other news we learned that uh, Dell and HP were kind of mad when Microsoft released the surface book because Dell and HP of course sell laptops and apparently when they saw that Surface Book, they were kind of really, really pissed off. And um, Microsoft, on its side, uh, knows that it was a possibility. So what happened is that Microsoft is trying to cool things down by um, actually doing um, a promotion of... Uh, there will be some advertisements that Microsoft will help uh, make with Intel to uh, help HP, Dell, and other companies that think they've been a little, um, you know, hard pressed to accept that, you know, some new laptop is on the market and that they didn't get any advanced notifications about this. Uh, personally, I don't think it affects much. You know what, this is a high-end laptop and Dell and HP don't really make a lot of high-end stuff. They mostly dump the market with garbage laptops, I would call them, or laptops of, you know, that has a lot of crapware on it. So I'm pretty much happy that Microsoft did this because I think it will tell also uh, all the other companies making uh, Windows laptops, come on, uh, straighten up your act and do better laptops and computers. That's what people want. And finally, 
uh, Netflix that was uh, saying they will uh, upgrade or update their pricing and add one dollar to the pricing uh, last week. Well, apparently gets a little bit uh, bad r review of, with that because a lot of people say, well, you know, another hike. And uh, basically, it's been the second hike in about a year. So uh, some people are saying, well, isn't that getting expensive? Um, I personally don't think so. And uh, Netflix sure doesn't think so. And Netflix did say, you know what? We are taking that dollar and we're adding more and more content, high quality content to Netflix. Uh, that should be interesting to you. Personally, I still think that $9.99 is not that big a deal. And uh, it is true. You know, if it brings more content, I have no problem with that. I would even accept that my, I'm still at $7.99 because I'm one of the first Canadian subscribers to Netflix. But I, I wouldn't mind getting a $2 hike in exchange of getting much more content, basically. So it um, seems that it's a little mad. And, basic, and also there were some uh, numbers released uh, yesterday about um, Netflix uh, subscriptions. And they've really slowed down in the United States. Uh, but, you know, the market's pretty big there and already. So um, I think it's a little normal that it slows down a bit. But uh, overall, they're still doing pretty well and uh, maintaining their market share. So that is the tech news for Thursday, October 15, 2015. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, why not share them with us? <coughs> if you have, um, you like our videos, why not subscribe? Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. And uh, thank you for following us on the channel.